Hey, what's up? My name is Fan Fantasy, and I cover tactical and immersive games. And I'm back with the third showcase of Gunner Heat PC mods. By now, you should know that the mods have been a recent thing in Gunner Heat PC, and several modders have been discovering how to make things happen. And so, in this showcase, I want to show you some updated mods as well as some new highlights. Before I go on, I know a lot of you who watch my videos haven't subscribed yet, so please do so if you enjoy my content. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like. And as a reminder in how to install these mods, you'll need to download Melon Loader, find the Gunner Heat PC EXE. From there, you need to simply download the mods and put it in the mod folder. From that point on, you'll have to launch the game by launching the EXE. If you ever want to change the mod settings or the mod options, You'll need to launch the game once, exit the game immediately, go to your user data, click on the Melon Preference config, and change whatever settings you want. Most mods that will be loaded will use the config file for settings. And also make sure to check for mod updates, as these mods are constantly being updated and fixed. So be sure to check the official Gunner Heat PC Discord, which I'll have in the description below. And go to the mod forums to see and track for updates, as well as the GitHub pages for the latest patches for these mods. And I'm sure these modders are a lot more helpful than I am if you need any help. That said, I've divided the video into two with the Pact and also the NATO mods. The first one we got is the T-64B by Swiss Admiral. With the Soviets and the T-64A being introduced in the main game, Swiss Admiral has been hard at work in making the B variant a reality in the game. This mod will replace the A version with the B, and if you didn't know, the T-64B has a better fire control system with the laser rangefinder. Also have the Cobra ATGM and a better ammunition such as the 3BM42. Although the T-64B may eventually enter into this game, this mod is for those who really want to experience a more advanced version of the T-64 for now. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of the T-64B and what better way to show you through some gameplay. And it is modded for sure because we have the 3BM42 indexed as a round. And as you can see here, it doesn't have a coincidence rangefinder, but it does have the laser rangefinder, which is a lot better. Just simply lays and blaze your target. And so we're going to wait for targets to show up along the crest and we will destroy them. And we'll also demonstrate the ATGM as well too. All right, so there are two Abrams coming up. One on the right, one on the left where I'm looking at. Let's go for the one on the left. Fire. And target. Alright, target destroyed. Should have our missile next. And this is the Cobras and firing now. This should get him, hopefully. And it's like target. Oh, firing a second one by accident. Well, anyways, that killed him. Alright, so up ahead are Bradley's. And we'll... Oh, crap. Alright, so we've got one Bradley. Eh, another one. And where's the second one? Oh, there he is. We'll fire. Alright, let's load our heat round. Might be easier. And target destroyed. Nice. One more Bradley. Alright, heat up and fire now. And he should be dead. Yep, target destroyed. And that's pretty much it. That's the T-64B, which you can check it out for yourself. Next, we got another mod update by the Swiss Admiral. And he basically turned this into a new mod pack. And it's called the Yugoslavia Mod Pack. Previously, he worked on the M84A, which I've covered in my previous showcase. But in this update, he has given the Yugoslavian tank an ATGM missile, which was later given in its service. What's also in this pack is the BVP M80A, which is a Yugoslav's infantry fighting vehicle. It has similar characteristics to the Soviet BMP, but it comes with a 20mm autocannon with a high rate of fire and similar penetration to the BMP-2's 30mm. It also comes with the 9M14P Mayuka launchers. The BVP will replace the BMP2, and it comes with the OPO20 armor piercing and the VE20 high explosive rounds. To install this, you will need both the M80A and the Yugo Pack file. The next mod I want to show you guys for the pack are skins, and that's the People's Polish Army and the People's Liberation Army, and it's made by Barkiro. 
Even though this game takes place in Folder Gap, those who are fans of the Polish military can now be immersed in your imagination of fighting NATO. It's also included Polish symbols on the helicopter. And he's not done yet as he's still working on better camouflage. And yes, you heard me right, this mod also comes with an option to reskin the pact with the People's Liberation Army. Not accurate, but hey, you can use your imagination and enjoy. And that's not all, as he just recently included countries like Romania and Czechoslovakia. Usually skins in Gunner Heat PC requires updating after a patch. It's important to check the mod author for new updates. Overall, Barkiria has done a really good job in adding and changing the factions to make the game a little bit more interesting. Next mod that I want to showcase got an update and some new features, and that's the Pack Lethality mod by Atlas. I've also covered this on my previous mod showcase, but there was a major update. The mod will give you a number of significant improvements with the laser range finder for the T55 and thermals for the T-72s and with better ammunition rounds. Speaking of the thermals, the T-72 now comes with the Sosna U, which comes with a 4 to 12 times zoom with the meter distance reader below. Although it's not very realistic in this timeline, it does make it the closest thing that you'll probably get to experience in a T-72B3, I guess. The BMP-1 comes with a better coaxial and with rounds such as the VOG-17M and the VOG-17M1 HEDP rounds. The BMP-2 has better ammunition like the 3UBR-8 AP and the 38UOF-8 HE rounds. Overall, these are more lethal rounds than what the game originally gives you. Conquerors are also capable of a top attack. You can also change the config of this mod by simply going to your mod folder and change the settings that you want. In short, if you really enjoy playing as the pack, well this mod will give you lots of various improvements to play around. The next mod I want to show you is not just for the Warsaw Pact. This mod adds the hidden T-34-85 tank, the Grafenvir tank range. And this mod is the Gunner Heat PC various improvements by Andrix. This mod will also bring back the hit log on the top right. In case if you've missed that, well, this mod will add it back. As well as the FPS counter on the bottom left. It'll also change the main manual dropdown so it's easier for you to select your missions. And this mod gives you the option of moving the third person crosshair or change the color of it. And it also adds the target cheese to the tank range. I'm pretty sure Andrix is not done adding various improvements so I encourage you to check out the Gunnahe PC Discord and the GitHub for more updates and improvements by him. Alright, so now for some NATO mods, which I'm excited to show you. And the first we got is the NATO ERA mod by the Heat Enthusiasts. The explosive reactive armor is now available to the Abrams and to the M2 Bradleys, which you can see here. Essentially, ERA gives you some extra protection against explosive type rounds. However, with ERA, you won't be immune to armor piercing rounds. You also have the various options to add the type of ERA, such as the ARAT 1M, BRAT, and other improvement versions of it. What's really amazing about this mod is that you have the option of adding where the ERA is at through the config log, and add the ERA on the turret sides or on the upper hull of the Bradley, and you could change the colors of it too. Since this mod is still in beta, I encourage you guys to check out the GitHub as well as the Discord for more updates on this. Speaking of the M1A1 Abrams, amp mod. We did get some various fixes and updates to it. You can now install the NATO ERA with it and the mod will detect it as an M1A1 tusk. There are some new round types like the MA30A3 heat and the GLATGMs which you can fire from your Abrams. Atlas's M1A1 Abrams mod now features a CITV, which stands for the Commander's Independent Thermal Viewer, and it comes with depleted uranium armored cheeks for extra protections and more ammo type. Technically with the CITV, it might as well be the M182 at this point, but to use it, just go to the Commander's View, press T, and you can override the gunner by right-clicking to your target. You can also zoom in and out with the CITV. <laughs> Another mod to keep an eye out is the M113 TOW. As you know, the M113 is a versatile APC that can carry troops to battle and can do many functions to support. In this mod by Atlas, the M113 is now equipped with the TOW launcher that can quickly knock out tanks while being a little bit more mobile. Normally, the TOW launcher will be at the back of the APC while still equipped with the M2 Browning. 
as you can see here, but you can't go wrong with having a M13 with a tow at this point. Until then, this will have to do. The tow will take a little longer to reload and the launcher is not stabilized, meaning you have to be still while firing. Also, the launcher is not equipped with the thermals by default, but these things can be changed in the melon preferences config. The next NATO sided mod is the M2 Bradley Sound Mod by Atlas. And I remember one of you guys have commented wondering if you can change the sound mods. Well, it is possible once again by Atlas. In this case, we now have the Bradley Sound Replacement Mod, which you can now add to your mod pack. Take a listen to it and let me know your thoughts. And it's pretty easy to install. Now another mod that I think deserves your full attention is the Any Tank in Any Campaign mod by the Heat Enthusiasts. Using your mod config, you can now replace the tanks in the campaign mode. You can now change your units and swap them with different tanks or even a BMP2 to the NATO side. Remember to read it carefully and the instructions and the config names are on the GitHub page. This mod is simply great if you just want to play as the M1 IPs in your campaign and, and having a mix of NATO and pack tanks on your side. There are chances of bugs, so do be mindful as you implement this mod in your game. I think this mod will add some bit of replayability into Gunner PC, and you can try it out and go from there. So as a bonus of watching this video and reaching to the end, I want to show you my skin that I've made for both Abram versions of the game. And that's the woodland and green camouflage for the Abrams. The mod is compatible with the vanilla Abrams and the mods like the M1A1, which I think it fits really well with. You can download this mod in the description and also in my Discord, which you can join and check out for updates and various pieces. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. So this concludes this month's mod showcase. It's an exciting time as we are exploring what we can mod in the game. I do want to say I've seen some comments about how these mods are doing better than what the devs are doing in the game. I want to say no, that's not true. The devs have been working hard to deliver some amazing updates and content in the game. And it's almost every month that we do get an update. The fact that the devs are happy to see modders who are enjoying the game is quite encouraging in my opinion. So in short, the devs have been doing an amazing job and supporting this game, and they do deserve the credit for delivering good content. And the mods will get better over time. So that's it from me. I want to hear your thoughts on these mods. Let me know which one is your favorite and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also join my Discord community and as always, I'll see you in my next video.